fun game to, to, to watch. It, it wasn't about points. And it was a t defense uh, that we, we displayed out there, the, the trust that we're displaying lately um, uh, defensively. And our defense is going to be creative of our offense. So it's good to see baby steps, and that was a great baby step to take. Talk about that defense. It looked like you played a lot of three-two defense in that first half, and really stopped them pulling six points in the first uh, thirteen minutes. I believe. Yeah, it's a, an amiable defense. It's, we kind of match up with the offense of the opponent, and uh, we just try to ball pressure it and talk to the, for the next pass. And uh, we did a tremendous job with that tonight. No, Linda took my shine, but <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> she need to do it more often because we look pretty good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I just kind of talking about your mindset tonight, but it seems like you're very aggressive or attack minded, not necessarily offensive. Um, I was actually really nervous before the game, but um, those butterflies really got me focused. Um, my goal this whole preseason has been to just step up as a leader intensity with my voice and just being aggressive on the court and giving it all I have every time. Um, I was looking to be more of an aggressive offender as well as defense and um, I think I did a I think my defense is what really helped me out um, on, my, on the offensive side so um, I, I was just really trying to get my hands on balls and stop the balls and stop them from scoring so that was all I was worried about. Constantly, constantly. Um, I was out there talking to Q and Candace and just everyone, even Linda, Jazz. I was trying my hardest to be a voice and just to lead them. They did something bad or they would do, turn over the ball or do something wrong. I'd just go over to talk to them, explain how to adjust it a little bit, try not to coach them too much, but just give them words of encouragement so they can just come back and, um, and step up. All right, Jazz, can you talk about your I was just ready to play. Um, I was nervous, but uh, just the atmosphere of just being here just really got me ready, and I was just just focused. And Coach, can you talk about how important offense for you for tonight, and how creating more offense for you? Well, you know, I just love the humility of our team this year. I love the fact that we don't really have a go-to player and everybody's willing to step up uh, to do what they need to do. And uh, one person shoots the ball, and the crash of the boards was tremendous. And, and Jazz was a, a great, great um, rebounder. And uh, she makes it easy for the other guards to want to go and get the rebound because she's having so much fun in that glass area. And if we get that third or fourth rebounder in there, I think we're going to be a tough team to, to, to beat because of our size this year. So I like the fact that we set a goal to 40 points in the second uh, for the entire game, and we matched that. Last year we set goals, and we never met them. Well, the first day we played, we set a goal, and we met that goal. So I'm really proud of this group where we are right now. We have a long way to go, but we're on our way. Well, it just shows you when you don't really care who gets the credit, great, great things can happen to every single one of them. And everybody's role is important. And uh, uh, we, we heard, had a great man in our locker room. And uh, we said some, he said some unbelievable things. And one thing is about honor. You know, it, it's an honor to play for Indiana. And we have to pre prote uh, protect the honor of old IU. And we took that seriously. And we've never heard it in that type of intensity before. But I think that the lights came on for all of us, including me about the honor it takes and then you're supposed to have when you put on that Indiana uniform and we're trying to represent it the best we know how. Oh, it was great. We just we just played the game of basketball and just everybody around me, we all just played together, executed and I enjoyed myself. And coach can you talk about what the steps to the team confidence wise, you know, when you're playing with 90, 90 points against the St. Ambrose team? Well, we can score this year, but our hope is that we can defend, and our defense has to be the thing that we continue to do well. But as I said in the press conference in the Big Ten, we have to create points. We have to score the basketball. And I think that we went out, my coaches went out and got some great scores and, and allowed um, City to be on the block by herself and making easy buckets down low because they cannot 
double down this year because our guards are, are very strong. So we're not, we're not telling them to make the shot, but we're asking them to take the open shots. And as we talk about the microcosm of, of life, this game is that if you wait and take your second shot, then you may not get that second opportunity. So we want to take the first one because in life, that's what it's like when you go after jobs and opportunities as well. So we're excited about where we are. We're, we're totally not content. We have a long way to go, but this is the first step. And I just think that uh, if these young ladies stay together, great things can come to our women's basketball program. Well, we can't look at the score and, and, and get goofy. And we can't look at the score and get down. We have to play our game. And I, I think we lost a little bit of focus in the middle of the second half around the 10-minute mark, particularly on the bench. And um, we have to stay focused a little bit. That mental toughness is the last piece that we have and have to acquire. You know, talent-wise, this might be the most talented team we, we've had since I've been here. But it needs to match the mental toughness of that first team I had when I first got here. We're on our way. They can do it. But we certainly have a long way to go in that category. And we're talking class. We're talking about being in the first three rows of the classroom. We're talking about doing your homework assignments early so you can get the court on the court and work on your free throws. We're talking about making the free throws when you're on the line. If you made 75 free throws the day before, the lights are on. Mental tough people will make them when the lights are on. And so we're on our way there, but we certainly can get better in that category. Thank you guys for what you do for women's basketball. Thank you.